Hey tea lovers, it's Kara here. I am just starting my first ever tea channel ever, so that's super cool. I'm gonna try to be as outgoing as I possibly can because this is scary. Okay, so the reason I want to make a tea channel is because there's some people out there that are kind of nervous about trying teas for the first time or they're like, yeah, tea sounds really cool, but I just don't know where to start. So that is perfectly okay. I'm going to help you through it. So each week I'll be doing a new tea and some teas might be from Davis Tea, some teas might be from like uh, more independent tea companies, more uh, teas from all over uh, Canada because I am a Canadian so I'll be doing teas from there. And soon I'll be traveling to Europe overseas to try some more teas over there and visit some families. So hopefully I will be able to take some videos and show you some teas that are kind of over there. Kind of like the different teas. Cool. So I'm going to help you guys pick the right teas that make you feel good and make you feel good inside and know what you're kind of like signing up for. So when you walk into a tea shop, there's going to be so many teas, you're going to be so overwhelmed, and there's going to be different teapots, different tea mugs, different like go mugs, but it's so exciting and so fun. Don't worry. So first things first, when you kind of like get into the game, you uh, need to know that most tea comes in a loose leaf uh, tin or bag or jar. And then it'll come with, uh, and then you'll need to buy a tea ball with it. It looks like a like a little ball with little wires around it to hold your loose leaf in, so it doesn't get all like, like blow around in your hot water, so you don't like drink tea leaves because that's not that great. Sorry. Uh, so those are definitely some things you'll need to think about when you're trying tea for the first time and you don't quite have that yet. But I know if you go to the grocery store, you can find a uh, bag tea for individual cups which is great it's just sometimes it doesn't taste the same as a loose leaf but tell me if I'm wrong thanks so when you walk into a tea shop you'll definitely find that like I said there'll be many teas and many different teas so just a few that I'll just count off right in my first video here is there's oolong tea there's rooibos tea there is black tea, there's green tea, fruity teas, uh, more like chai tea, and herbal teas. So quite a bit to like pick from and to try from. So that's like really cool and really exciting. So when I walk into a tea shop, I really focus on black teas, green teas, fruity teas, and herbal teas. Because those are some great different flavors, different like uh, tea leaves that are going to give you different, um, uh, different like mental health and different digestive health throughout the day and different, you know, like feelings. So black tea is definitely uh, something with more caffeine, caffeine in it. And so if you love caffeine, like myself, um, you will definitely love black teas, and you can get some that aren't like really dark and flavorless. You can find some that have some cool like blends in it that are more, get some more pop. And then with green teas, you can get more um, like plain green teas and more fruity green teas. So just be careful on what you pick there. And then herbal teas are really nice at nighttime or when you're just trying to rewind after a really long stressful day. And so these are super awesome. I love herbal tea so much. I drink them a lot at night. So I like to do that quite a bit. So whenever I go shopping, I really like to find those really good herbal teas that are really, really nice and fruity and light. So the first tea I have chosen for this video is called Forever Nuts from David's Tea. And I actually bought this tea thinking I would... I'm going to give it to a family friend and I'm going to be like, here, here's your gift. But then I smelt it and I was like, oh my gosh, that smells amazing. And it's really cool. It comes in a colorful tin. You can go into Davis Tea and get these for about $15. I haven't bought one in a while. 
because they last you forever. And so this is really cool because it's uh, nice and herbally and it's very relaxing so it's really nice to have after dinner uh, with dessert or if you're going to have like a friend over for tea. It's just really nice. I really like it. So when you're first shopping for tea, of course, you're going to have to smell the tea so you know what you like so when I first shop for tea I crack it open or ask the tea clerk to crack it open for me and so I can smell it so I know what I'm buying and then so I'm gonna open it up and most of the time you never want to shove your nose in it or it's gonna really overpower you and kind of like take you back a little bit be like oh my gosh like what did I just smell so I really like to just like take a sniff a little farther away from it because it is very aromatic and you can really get a lot of scents just by just smelling it far away. So I'm going to go do that. So when I first smell this tea, it smells very nutty, it has some fruit to it, very cinnamony. So if you like cinnamon, that's really a good tea to try and it's just very like nice and light and smells almost like um, just like cinnamon baking in a way. So if you really like that, that's really cool. So I'm going to close her up because you don't want your tea to go bad. Because if you leave your tea open, then your tea won't last as long as you want it to and it won't steep the way you want it to. So if I were you and I was going to go buy some tea, buy it in a tin. Sometimes it can be a little more pricier than in a bag, but it really will save you in the long run because you can drink it faster and then you don't have to uh, buy more tea. This keeps it sealed, it keeps it fresh, so you can have it for years and it won't even go bad. So that's pretty cool and worth your buck. So forever nuts from David's tea. So I boiled some water earlier and then I put it in this super cool pot. This pot's from Ikea. It's super cute. And it about serves about four to five people. And so today I only put like about a cup in for myself. And then I'm about steeping just, just a little bit. Just so I can like show you guys how to do it. So usually on the back of the can or on the bag, it'll tell you how much to steep it for. My usual go-to is about two to four minutes because then you get more flavor you get just a little bit more color in your tea and it's just a little bit more richer of a taste so that is what I did I steeped it about four to five minutes so sorry two to four minutes so I did put my tea in a tea ball and I just plunked it to the bottom and so no tea leaves can get out so I'm going to pour just a little bit in my cup just to show you guys what it kind of looks like. Um, it will uh, steep pink because of the fruit and because of the nuts and stuff like that. So that's kind of neat. It's a little bit of a different uh, color. So don't be alarmed when you pour it and you're like, oh my gosh, this is pink tea. Because usually most teas aren't this vibrant. So this is kind of cool, you know, like it's bright pink. I don't know if you can, oh, I just spilled it, <laughs> sorry. That's hilarious, okay. Um, I did not think that through. So, you know, this is why the first video is the first video. I hope I can get some followers for spilling tea. So I'm just gonna bring the camera a little bit closer. Uh, sorry for any motion sickness people. So that's where the tea kind of looks like. It's very pink, very vibrant, but it's gonna taste I think it tastes really good, but if you don't like it, you don't hurt my feelings. So I'm going to just try some. I usually smell my tea a little bit before I drink it because when it steeps, it just smells a little bit lighter and not so overpowering, which is really nice and most teas will do that. And then um, after smelling it, I'm just going to take a little sip. Yeah, that, that's really nice. I like that tea a lot. It's just really nice and light and not really overpowering with the cinnamon. Like when I first smelled it, I was like, oh my gosh. It's 
a lot of cinnamon, but when I first taste it, it doesn't really taste like cinnamon. It tastes more fruity, more nutty, not so much cinnamon, so that's really nice. So this is a great tea to have at the end of the day. I really like it, and you know what? My tea can and my mug are the both the same color, so that's like super cool. I love that. I like matching things. But usually most not all tea cans will match your mug. I'm so sorry. But you can get cool, colorful mugs that make uh, tea drinking more fun. Or find like a mug that you really like, you know, that you're like, man, this is the coolest mug ever. And then maybe you'll feel more um, welcome to drink tea. Or even like at Davis Tea, you can find some really cool mugs with like tea filters in them. So you don't have to always like be worried about a tea ball all the time. So those are really cool like accessories you can get later down the road when you know that like this tea thing's for you. So that brings us to the end of the first video. I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys have any teas that you'd like me to try or to kind of like help you through in a way or if you have any questions on teas, uh, please um, either like message me or comment below and ask away. I love questions and I love tea so I can talk about tea all day and stuff like that. Uh, I'm gonna clean up my tea spill after I uh, log off here. So if you have any ways to help me not spill tea, that would be super great because I spill stuff like crazy. I might need a sippy cup in the next video. So you might see me drinking out of a tea thermos so I can't spill it. And so lastly, I would really like to keep this up about once a week. And so if you have any tea suggestions, I would love to try them and show you like what I think about them. And yeah, so I'm really, really happy about this. Okay. Okay. Talk to you guys next time.